There's lots of people out. I know. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm not moving over. 8 to 28. Brother response. Motorcycle rollover. Report of two patients. Call comes in for a motorcycle rollover involving two patients. It's not very often that you hear of a motorcycle rolling over. It's like, were these people both on the bike? I was, or assuming, it was one both in a on car? Bike. I was assuming both on the bike. But a rollover is strange. Usually they lay the bike down, you know? Mm -hmm. So to be responding for a motorcycle rollover seems a little bit odd. Motorcycle accidents never end well. When we arrive on scene, we see a very damaged three-wheeled motorcycle. Oh, it's like a trike. Now it makes more sense why we were called for a rollover. Police and fire are already on scene, and we see our two patients sitting in the grass. You want to take the driver? I'll take the other one. Sure. Hi, sir. So what's hurting you right now? Right now, it's my ribs. OK. So you were a passenger on this? Yes, I was. Trike? Yeah. And tell me what happened. We're, we're coming up there. We hit around 50 or whatever. I, I remember we were on a trike, and I told him to actually slow down. Did you see it happen? I saw, all I seen was them coming up from there, and then I heard a couple screeching, and then I seen uh, them hit the uh, curb. Did you lose consciousness at all? No. No. Yeah. One of his wheels hit the curb, and when that happened, I pulled the bike over, and we hit the sign. And you were ejected off the bike? Oh, yeah. They both got up right away. He was on the ground, a bit hit the ground, sore, hurting. And where did you land in relation to the bike? Uh, about uh, 12 feet up in front of it. These patients were ejected from a motorcycle. They're both going to be trauma alerts. We're going to need collars for both of them. Head injuries, neck injuries, broken bones, internal bleeding, it's all possible. OK, any pain in your head here? No. No, no. any pain in your neck? No. Can you hold on two minutes with that man? Mm -hmm. come? Back up it's good, it's a free world. Yeah. It is, yeah. It's pretty nice if you weren't doing that yeah. in our face. Right? This patient lights up a smoke. We ask him to put it out, but he's not being cooperative. Well, outside in the public area, I can do what I want. You're right, you can, yeah. But at this point, it's not worth the argument. I just want you to sit in the grass and kind of just relax for a couple minutes. Uh, so we're just going to get you to take one step backwards and have a seat there. The fact that these guys were able to get up and walk off the road immediately after the accident is a very good sign. So no shortness of breath right now? No. No headache? It was legit right. just I skid my arm back. Right. Uh. Oh, God, don't take my boots off. My feet shake. That's all right. So we got to check everything out. Sorry. These patients are very lucky tonight. They got away with relatively minor injuries. So this guy's 150 on 90, uh, or it's 100. If they were going any faster or had come into this pole, as opposed to a road sign, they'd have been in a lot worse condition. We're going to transport these patients to the hospital for further evaluation. But at this point, it looks like they got off lucky tonight.